Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have two of the most intense eyelids available on the market. Both are Ardbegs and we have the Wee Beastie which is a five year old Ardbeg aged in ex-bourbon and finished in Oloroso sherry casks and it's bottled at 47.4% and we have the Ardbeg 10 year which is obviously 10 years old but aged purely in ex-bourbon barrels and this one's bottled at 46%. So the Wee Beast is a little bit stronger, um, but five years younger, and has that sherry cask influence as well. We'll just get straight into it. O honestly, this whiskey has probably one of my favorite noses of all time. I, I think it's packed full of flavor, incredible, incredible whiskey. Again, I just want to apologise for the noise outside. Uh, for some reason, there's one guy who, this time of week, every week, when I want to record a video, he likes to start up whatever it is, this machine um, that you can hear in the background. So apologies for that. I can't do anything about it. And I don't even know where the sound's coming from, but whenever I record a video, he seems to just start it up and I never hear it any other time. And he'll stop as soon as I stop recording as well. So on the nose of the Wee Beastie, I get, it's just, it's a, <laughs> so on the nose of the Wee Beastie, I'm getting a lot of pea, a lot of smoke, and quite a good dose of lime on there as well. It's um, it's keeping it very sharp and um, a little bit aggressive. But along with that, and I would say equally as strong, if not more strong, is this um, very interesting sweetness. So for me, it's, it's quite... Um, it's quite an intense dark sweetness. So um, I get like a, a really strong treacle, which in America, I think that's molasses. Um, much darker than caramel um, in there. But I get, it's a note that I've not really seen anyone talk about. So please let me know if you agree with this at all. But for me, I get a really strong sort of Ben and Jerry's ice cream cookie dough. A um, little bit of that vanilla ice cream, but that cookie dough note, the smell of it, it's definitely in there. And I feel like there's a little bit like of like a, a raspberry jam on top. So you're getting a little bit of that red fruit sweetness, but it, it doesn't go too far. But it, it gives you a different sort of sweetness. It's a real dessert sweetness and it's really, really nice. Like I say, one of my all time favourite noses. Packed full of flavour, so many notes to go uh, over. You can literally sit on this and talk about it for a long, long time. But also, of course, you have that bonfire smoke. You have the, the, the vegetal damp uh, peat in there. Which makes it a bit funky, like it's, it's, it's going off a little bit. But it's really nice. A little bit of uh, cigarette smoke, actually, I would say. It's very ashy. Um, but that that sweetness note that I was talking about keeps this one very, very interesting. And the 10 year is going to give you just the completely different nose. Um, this is purely um, cigarette smoke. Very ashy, very sooty, think chimney soot. An enormous amount of lime, just freshly squeezed lime and lemon rind on top. Doesn't have any of the sweetness notes that the Wee Beastie has. This is going to be your extremity whiskey. It's really pushing the envelope on that Isla uh, note which is going to be the smoke, the peat. But it has a really strong citrus note, so it's quite acidic and aggressive. A little bit woody. So, actually, I think that on the nose at least, they share pretty much the same nose. Um, so the five-year and the ten-year, through the ex-bourbon influence, it pretty much gives you the same note. And I think that's why they probably aged the Wee Beastie in a sherry cask as well. Because 
the nose is actually very similar. But with the Wee Beast, you get all these additional notes from that sherry cask that I talked about. The Ben & Jerry's cookie dough, a little bit of like a raspberry jam, um, treacle, molasses note. Um, and for me, it just adds twice the complexity than the than the 10 year does. Um, but it brings it a little bit more towards a more middle ground um, for an Isla, whereas the 10 year stays at that extremity. It's dry. It's ashy, sooty, um, cigarette-like, very acidic with the le uh, with the lemon and lime, um, and vegetal, full of peat, but it doesn't have any sort of sweetness. It stays dry and aggressive. So I hope that helps on the nose. And please, if you can click subscribe down below, that would really help the channel out. I think we're on 510 subscribers at the minute. Um, so thank you. And uh, let's get back to the taste. Stunning. Stunning. Very aggressive. Very intense. Please don't go for any of these whiskies if you're not ready for an intense Isla. Because the experience is as intense as it gets really in the whiskey world. A bit more of a pipe tobacco coming through on the taste. A little bit sweet there's a touch of that red fruit sweetness coming in but it it never really develops it just hints at it this is going to be um pipe tobacco full of peat full of smoke a little bit citrusy but not too much i'd say a little bit stronger on that red fruit note than the citrus The cookie dough is coming through on the taste, almost like a salted coffee, uh, salted coffee, salted toffee. A little bit of a sweetness, which is nice. I love that balance in a whiskey. Onto the tenure. Just having these side by side, that lime and lemon and lime note that I got in the nose, very strong, very clearly on the taste as well. But it, it almost develops into a little bit of a syrup like a lemon syrup, adding a little bit of sweetness that I wasn't expecting to come through. Of course, it's still going to be dry. It's still going to be full of smoke, full of peat, citrusy, a huge amount of damp vegetation. So picture a bog, a very damp bog, damp forest, a little bit of a rotting wood coming through. Um, sort of mulchy vegeta uh, vegetation. Really nice, really nice on the taste. I've got to be honest, a sort of lemon sweetness isn't my lemon and lime sweetness. It's not my my favourite sort of sweetness. Um, I think I do prefer the sweetness that the Wee Beastie brings. Um, it has, it seems to, the Wee Beastie seems to have a little bit more depth to it, a little bit more body. And I do think there's more notes coming out of the Wee Beastie, which I know is a little bit controversial to say. I know the Ardbeg 10 is a firm favourite and um, for not just Ardbeg fans, but Isla fans in general. Um, I do, I get a bit more out of the nose and I get a little bit more out on the taste. I also think that the Ardbeg 10, it has a little bit more of an alcohol note than the Wee Beastie does, even though the Wee Beastie is one and a half percent stronger. And I think it's probably due to that that treacle molasses sweetness sort of pulling it back a little bit. Adding just a few more notes and a little, touch more complexity as well. What I would say is from the 10 year, I'm getting a little bit more of a wood presence. And that's quite nice. Um, and it adds to this uh description that I'm giving of it, which for me, it's on the extremity of Isla. It's dry, smoky, peaty, acidic, citrusy, giving it a pop. But with that pop, it's actually given a wood spice as well. So it is a little bit more fizzy and dry <clears throat> and intense than the Wee Beastie. The Wee Beastie is definitely the more balanced of the two. Um, as I've said, a little bit more complexity, a few more notes as well bringing that more of a rich sweetness to the whiskey. Another note that I really would like to add is 
these whiskies, they have that, and I touched on it with the Ardbeg 10, that forest, damp forest, bog-like vibe. And really, there are some more notes in there that I'd like to touch on. It's, it's giving you a very resinous, almost tar-like, um, pine resin note. It's, um, it really does remind you of, of a forest uh, on a rainy day, uh, in, more in the winter than the summer. Um, again, bog-like, full of uh, soil, rotting vegetation, um, and, and they, both, they both share these notes. I'd say the 10 it comes off a little bit more resinous, a bit more of a pine resin, whereas the wee beast is actually giving a bit more of a like a tar and a and a rotting wood. It's 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 the, the wee beast definitely comes across a bit more like decaying vegetation. Um which sounds disgusting, but a lot of the notes in these whiskies are gonna sound disgusting. So you've got to be prepared for them. Um but if you do like them, like a lot of people like them, the wee beastie has more of it. This one purely comes down to personal preference, really. It's do you prefer a more balanced dram? Or actually, which I think is why the Arbeg 10 is more popular of the two, people want an Arbeg to go for that extremity of Isla, the extremity of whiskey. And they might not drink it every day. This is a once in a blue moon whiskey because you want that dry, intense hit. And that is what the Arbeg 10 is going to give you. So I totally, totally understand why it's more popular and why more people seem to prefer the 10. For me personally, the Wee Beastie is something I could drink a lot more. Um, it gives me more notes. I can sit down and think about it a little bit more. Um, and I actually prefer the nose and the taste of what the Wee Beastie gives me. So for that reason, I think the Arbeg Wee Beastie is going to be the winner today. Uh, but let me know in the comments down below if you agree or disagree. Which one do you prefer? Um, please click subscribe down below and like the video. And just before I finish off, I'll quickly tell you the price because I've just realised I've forgotten to mention the price. So the Arbeg Wee Beastie, it was around £33 RRP. Um, and then for sales, you could get it for about 30 31 I think actually, as with a lot of whiskey, the price has gone up a little bit. So this is going to be high 30s. And the Arbeg 10 was around 40. It might have crept up to around 45 now. But you will be able to still get deals for this for around £40. So the Wee Beast is going to come in just a little bit cheaper. But they're both very affordable. I'd recommend both, to be honest with you. But for me, the Wee Beast takes the win today. So uh, thank you all for watching. And I hope to see you all for the next Whiskey War.